Hello, my name is Thomas Heinold. Welcome back to Best Gear Rehabilitation Forum. My goal is to help prosthesis wearers look their best in addition to achieving the highest possible level of mobility. They should be able to accept their prosthesis as a fully adequate replacement for their leg. So today, I'm going to show you a leg prosthesis with a functional cosmesis, which I think is an impressive solution that looks good and is functional as well. If you are fitting the Genium or C-Leg 4, you can use a few additional components to fabricate a functional cosmesis, which is quite different from a conventional foam solution. Plus, it looks attractive and will impress your customers. To do this, you will need this functional knee part, the shank, and finally, this functional stocking. A functional knee part that fits properly is of crucial importance to the success of the functional cosmesis. It's key that the metal bracket is in the proper position. The curve of the metal bracket must always face upwards and the plastic part mounted on the bracket must face downwards, like this. Next, it is important to check whether the socket and the functional knee part collide with one another. To do this, the knee part must first be provisionally installed and secured, and the knee joint must be moved to maximum extension. You will need to use the knee extender here for the C-Leg 4. Let me show you. If the parts collide, you can send the upper knee part and the ball attachment. Please remember that there are areas which cannot be modified, as shown in the following illustration. There's another small difference for the C-Leg 4. The functional knee part has an opening for the proximal charging cable extension. The profiling of the knee part must not press against the cable or the O-ring. Now install the functional knee part. Loosen any screws which have been pre-tightened. Once again, check that the metal bracket and plastic part are properly positioned and make sure that the functional knee part is fitted correctly on the frame of the knee joint. Secure the functional knee part again. Now bring the knee back to maximum extension. Just another reminder, please use the knee extender for the C-Leg 4 here. Now use a cable tie to pull the metal bracket firmly against the adapter over the knee joint. It's best to close the cable tie to the side and trim it. If you're using a rotation adapter as we are here, please remember to check the cable tie is properly positioned. Then use a Torx key to tighten the two screws. We've done it. Now let's move on to the functional shank. The shank offers a significant advantage. The contours of the knee joints are integrated precisely into the shanks. The shank part also has a large hole, as it makes it easier to pull it on and off if there are screws that protrude significantly due to the construction. For smaller ankle sizes, it may be necessary to make the diameter of the tube a bit larger. My recommendation Cut a piece of pedalin or plastazote to a thickness of 5 mm, a width of 122 mm and the same length as the tube. Use double-sided adhesive tape to affix it to the tube. And now you have a diameter that is a bit bigger and offers greater stability. The shank is now shortened according to the user's measurements 
and taking into account a compression measurement of 1.5 cm and the foot position. Before you start sanding the shape of the shank, you must ensure that you can access the screws. It's best to use a scribing needle, heated with hot air, to do this. Pull on the shortened shank, determine the height of the access holes and push the hot scribing needle through the foam. The shape of the shank can now be sanded according to your customer's individual measurements. Please note that the upper section of the shank may not be sanded. If it is sanded, the transition between the knee and shank contour will not retain its attractive shape anymore. A note on the genium. The leg contour must, as you can see here, be completely flush with the inserted assembly ring for optical reasons, but primarily so that inductive charging of the joint is possible and the charging unit doesn't get detached. If done properly, it works really well, with or without trousers. Once the sanding of the shank is completed, you have to pull the nylon stocking over it to make it easier to put on the functional stocking later. Secure the holes that you need to make with contact adhesive as well, to avoid ladders. Because sockets have individual circumference and length measurements, it's usually necessary to fabricate a custom functional cosmesis for the thigh area as well. You can create a simple yet effective compensation element here as well, using pedalin for example. If you are looking for further suggestions regarding socket connectors, please use the brochure included in the scope of delivery. Let's take a look at the functional external finish of the leg prosthesis. It's crucial that you make sure the functional stocking is properly positioned. Only then it will offer its full range of functionality. It is made of durable threads that are also easy to clean. I'd like to emphasize its hygienic properties in particular. It is washable, resistant to dirt particles and also repels spray water. Finally, you should, together with the user, Check that the warning signals of the mechatronic joints are audible and adjust them if necessary. If you are a practitioner, if you are a CPO or a orthotist, prosthetist or a doctor or you are a patient, please for any questions and inquiries contact me with 0097150. This is my mobile number from UAE, also my email address. You will right now see it on the display. Please save this mobile number and this email address with you. I will be available for you 24 7. Anytime you have a question, contact me and you will get answered immediately. Thank you very much.